was here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Fake shite. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Yes, oh my god. You? Well, guess we're in with all sorts these days. If you're here to see Draw Ragslin, you'll want to let him and the lads know you're one of us. There's a party on. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colors. Hmm. Nice to have her this across the mug. Oh, it do it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Whatever calls you. <laughs> Go on, mate. Enjoy the festivities. You earned it. Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Down in the pits, no less. Sounds ominous among creatures that love blood sports. Better step to it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Rip the guts out of Wackeen's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some Duke. Worth celebrating, that is. I'd rather have a second tadpole than do that. <laughs> what a stunner you are, mate. That's the mountain pass. Okay, so that's where we would have came. the overwhelming authority that you've used on others only infinitely stronger and turned against you your vision clouds leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape nothingness in every direction that's Thank not good there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command a handsome younger man with a quick easy smile and a pale young woman with even paler eyes these 
Pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The I'll voice trust is gone. you. Muted by this, this Geth relic. Why does a half elf carry it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? Riley. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It's our code, our creed, our shield. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. All we can do is try, I suppose. There's nothing more I can tell you. I know those symbols. Githyanki runes. Ancient as Vlacketh herself. You stole that from my people. Yes. And a lot of my people died in the process. I won't this fail. This party them. is a disaster. Not after what I saw your kind do to them. They're all just gonna try to kill each other. A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. The three figures in the vision. The chosen are searching for it. Mm. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. No doubt the Githyanki will seek to reclaim that which is theirs. But you still do not know what it even is. For now. But any crimes against my kin will be answered for in time. I just saved you. Keep that in mind next time you want to air your grievances. Okay.
Continue our ballad. <coughs> I am. Ah, you're broken. Oh, wait, wait. Draw rags, Lynn. We pay. We. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. <laughs> what you've done. Come on. You of course you have. My name's Gribble, you idiot. Ah, glad you've a moment. My. Already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. You'll just give me what I need. Perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. It's incredibly, world-shatteringly important you give me a suitable artifact. Please. Natural fucking one. Let me remind you that this is not... We have to find Halcyn before it's too late. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoner's welfare. Let's hope we find him in one piece. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of... Oi! State your business. Now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Yeah, maybe. Specific though, mate. Abs, you here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? <laughs> Audience is right. She she's in telling the War Chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big un. I hear. Bloody whacking. <laughs> As if mingling with a horde of gob. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I will then. Aye. Might be we'll pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> now, here's somebody special. Priestess Gut needs to touch you, too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Shows are the whole camp will be you ready. Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some... Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. 
A creature? Let me take a closer look. I ain't seen anything like this before. Hey? Eh? No need. With the absolute's will? Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Someone this lot. It... Oi! Priestess! We want the mark. Yeah. Why do they think they're talking ain't to a god? Ain't we good enough for the absolute? That foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Ready to clear your head. Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, don't want a crowd of gawpers. Ready to clear your head. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Ah, glad you've a moment for me. My, uh, already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. You'll just give me what I need. Ready to clear your head. Smart. Don't want anyone. What's wrong there with that? Secret and safe. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. It's all slippery in there. What are you hiding? image of the mind flayer reaches out to her from your memories. Ouch! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too. Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you so drink this. It'll purify ya. <laughs> I knew that. Sweet dreams. I'll see your ugly mug on the other side. I got 30 XP for that. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. I know that much. Oh, and I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out, your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. I'm 
stronger than ever. And I've got the absolute on my side. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. I need in the 20, dude. Your muscles burn with the effort, but the chains hold strong. Dislocate your wrist? So am I just gonna have dislocated wrists now? A sharp pain shoots through your arm as the bone pops out of place. The chains hold tight. What the hell is I supposed to do? Kind of ugly you always was. Disappointing not to have my own squiddy. But your giblets will make for a tasty supper. Oh shit. Okay. I'm okay with that. Sorry. I may have left that a little late. No lasting damage, I hope. my master you should thank when you got yourself in this predicament he sent me to help you'll meet him soon and have a chance to show your gratitude in the meantime try not to get yourself killed i won't always be watching what the heck Strange power. Your limbs move with their own accord. There's something of value. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Say we'll take as the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Mm. 
Nat 20. Oh, we got it. Damn. We do all the work, and you get to finish him. Ah. Yeah, I should have. That's crazy. Oh, that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. The lock clicks. Thank you. I... Yes, please. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. In Elsin. I... I don't know. He changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. Where is he? he yes. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but... When we arrived, Brian had instructions, but I, I have to go. I have to. I don't know how to get our friend out now. Goblin turns to you, and the parasites squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Flair's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks, her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. You choke on black smoke as the whole goblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse, speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call dead Shulko The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. 
your heart seizes. What if the creature noted your presence at the crash site? Seven. Raxlin's mind resists your penetration. He speaks his first question. Talk to me, freak. Who killed you? The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing! The memory fades, and the corpse awaits the next question. Seven again. Raxlin continues the interrogation. Tell me who killed you, freak. Again, a vision comes to you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand opening a holding pod. The mug clears. It can't be. You, you're no true soul. Finally. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses. Silent once more. Ooh. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it. And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. Falling in line. Prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. Silent. Has she the chamber one of those? A true uh, soul? Okay. Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Worshippers of a false god. There is a weapon the absolute. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of and of the weapon. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. Her mind focuses. The cult. The thief whimpering in. We will continue. 
He's been risen. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. You are sure? And how did you find it? Praise be. And now, through her will, you can be my eyes. Her mind enters yours. A splinter of ice piercing your memories. It's so annoying that, like... Tiefling faces flicker into view as she attempts to learn the grove's location. She sees the entrance to the grove and then smiles serenely as blood and shadows spread like stains across your memory, erasing all that live there. The cowards found refuge among the desperate. Perfect. If the inhabitants do not realize you are the knife at their throats, we can use that against them. Go to their refuge and make your way inside as a friend. I will gather a raiding party and move into position. You will open the gates from the inside when the time is right to strike. We will cleanse the place of infidels and burn it to the ground in the Absolute's name. And then we will be the first among her favorites. Good. Marshalling the goblins, you must make your way inside once I am in position. And when they are for the absolute. Gather the raiders. Surprises. It is yes, your ladyship. We won't let you down. Lose. 